Hello everyone. Have you ever seen a handmade gift and thought, wow, there's something special about this? That's the magic of making things by hand. It's not just about the final piece, it's about the care, the story, and the love that goes into every bit of it. Now, imagine a whole bunch of these wonderful, unique creations coming from a place where every craft tells its own exciting tale. This isn't about one single company. It's about a whole world of crafters just like you, who have turned their passion for creating into something amazing that others can enjoy. These crafters have a secret. They know that making something with your own two hands is not just fun, it's a way to connect with others. They make more than just objects, they make memories that last. And you know what? This could be your story too. It's not as hard as it might seem, and I'm here to show you how you can start your very own craft business and share your creations with the world. Are you ready to begin this crafting adventure? Let's dive in and discover how you can make your crafting dreams a reality. Let's see how to start this business. Step 1. Introduction to Profitable and Easy-to-Make Crafts Starting a craft business can be a rewarding way to make money from your creativity. When choosing the right craft, it's important to pick something that not only has a wide appeal, but can also be made at a low cost to maximize profit. Many crafts fit this bill, such as personalized jewelry, home decorations, and handmade soaps. These items are loved for their uniqueness and the personal touch they can bring to customers' lives. However, among the various options, one craft that really shines through as both profitable and easy to make is hand-painted tote bags. These bags serve many purposes. They're perfect for carrying groceries, books, or just for making a fashion statement. They're also a canvas for your artistic ideas, allowing you to offer something truly unique and personalized. Hand-painting tote bags can be started on a small budget, with the potential to sell them at a good profit margin. They are also easy to ship, making them an excellent choice for an online craft business. Next, we'll explore how you can get started with this exciting and creative venture. Step 2. How to Make Hand-Painted Tote Bags Starting a craft business with hand-painted tote bags is quite straightforward, and you don't need a lot of supplies to get going. You can get your plain tote bags from a well-known online retailer like Amazon, which often has competitive prices for bulk purchases. For fabric paints, Amazon is also a convenient choice because it offers a wide range of colors and brands at various price points to suit your budget. The convenience of having all your supplies shipped to your door is hard to beat. Brushes needed for your detailed work can again be found on Amazon. It's a one-stop shop where you can buy both fine and broad brushes, ensuring you get exactly what you need for your tote bag designs. Once you have your materials, place a piece of cardboard inside the tote bag to avoid paint bleed through. Lightly sketch your design onto the bag, then paint it using the fabric paints you've chosen. If mistakes are made, they can be easily corrected once the paint dries. After your painting is done, let the bag dry completely. To make sure the paint sets and your design stays in place, you might need to iron over the area with a protective cloth in between. With these simple steps and a single online shopping destination, you can start creating unique and personal tote bags that could be popular at local craft fairs or in your own online store. Customers often seek out items that are handmade and personalized, and with quality materials from a reliable source like Amazon, you can offer just that. Step 3. Selling your craft When your hand-painted tote bags are ready to sell, it's important to use strategies that might not be widely known, but are used by the best sellers to stand out. One clever approach is to create pop-up shops. You can set up a small temporary stall at local markets, fairs, or events. This way, people can see and touch your bags in person, which can really help to sell them. Another great selling strategy is to take advantage of online marketplaces that cater to unique, handmade items. You might already know about Etsy or eBay, but there are also places like Society6 or Redbubble where artists can sell their designs. These platforms specialize in turning artwork into a variety of products, and they can handle a lot of the selling process for you. You can also try to work with local art galleries. This might sound a bit different, but some galleries are open to selling wearable art. It can be a good way to find customers who are interested in art and might love your unique bags. Lastly, think about selling DIY kits. This is something not many people might offer. You can put together a kit with a plain tote bag, a selection of paints, and simple instructions. This way, customers can enjoy creating their own design on the bag, which can be a fun activity for them and a great selling point for you. By using these strategies, you're not just selling a product. You're offering an experience and a piece of wearable art that can attract a variety of customers. Step 5. Marketing and Promotion 
To get people excited about your hand-painted tote bags, use social media. Show off your bags and how you make them on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. A good idea is to post quick videos that show a bag going from plain to painted. This grabs attention and shows off your talent. Try something special like making a few bags that are different from all the others. Maybe work with an artist in your area and make a bag together. Tell your followers these special bags are only around for a little while. It makes your bags more special, and people will want to buy them before they're gone. Lastly, people love free stuff, so why not give away a bag now and then? Ask your followers to share your post or tag a friend to enter a draw for a free bag. This gets more people to see your bags and could help you find new customers. Keep it simple and fun, and your unique bags could become the talk of the town. An important thing is if painting isn't your strong suit yet, don't fret. You can easily learn online. YouTube has tons of free videos where you can watch and paint along at your own speed. If you like a step-by-step -step approach, try Skillshare or Udemy for beginner-friendly courses. They have lessons that guide you through everything about fabric painting. If you're not keen on painting, that's okay. Fabric markers are a great alternative. They work just like regular markers, but they're made for fabric, so you can draw directly on your tote bag without needing any painting skills. Stencils are handy tools that let you create detailed designs. Simply place the stencil over the bag, color in the gaps with paint or markers, and you'll have a neat, clean design without needing to draw by hand. Another option is iron-on transfers, which involve printing a picture onto special paper, and then using an iron to transfer that image onto your bag. It's like making a t-shirt design. Finally, stamping is super easy. Just dip the stamp into some fabric ink, press it onto your tote bag, and you've got a pattern or image on your bag without any fuss. A key ingredient for success in this business is having a detailed business plan. Dive into the financial essentials of a hand-painted tote bag business with our straightforward plan that outlines the key monthly costs, paving the way for a flourishing creative endeavor. Monthly cost. Materials cost. Tote bags, paints, brushes, $700.00. Assuming the cost for bulk plain tote bags, fabric paints, and brushes per month. Insurance, $100. A small monthly premium for home-based business insurance. Website and e-commerce, $50. Monthly cost for website hosting and maintenance. Marketing, $200. This covers basic marketing materials and ads on social media. Transportation and shipment, $600. As this cost covers the shipment of bags, assuming a $3 fee for each bag. Therefore, the total monthly ongoing cost is around $1,750 in order to calculate total monthly revenue. Let's say you sell each bag for $30 and aim to sell 200 bags per month, so the total monthly revenue will be $6,000. To find the monthly net profit, we subtract the total ongoing cost from the total monthly revenue, which will be $4,350. In this example, the business makes up to $4,300 in profit each month. This is a simplified model, and actual results can vary widely based on factors like demand, production capacity, and operational efficiency. If you scale your business to sell more than 400 bags per month, then the net monthly profit increase to up to $8,600. As the business grows, costs like labor, marketing, and production supplies will likely increase. But ideally, the revenue will increase as well due to higher sales volumes and possibly higher pricing based on the brand's value. Please note that the actual numbers can vary greatly depending on various factors, such as the scale of production, the exact selling price, the costs of materials in your specific location, and additional expenses that may arise. There are some common mistakes in this business. When you're making and selling tote bags, watch out for these common slip-ups. First, make sure you don't sell your bags too cheap. Your time and skills are worth money, so charge enough to pay for the materials and for the hard work you put in. Also, try not to make your bag designs too fancy or complicated. Sure, you want your bags to look great, but if they're too tricky to make, they'll take a lot of time and stuff to create. That could mean you spend more money on each bag than you should. Keeping your designs simple can help you make more bags faster and keep costs down, which is better for business. So remember, don't sell yourself short and keep it simple. These tips can help you avoid some common mistakes and do well in your tote bag business. Here are some tips and tricks for this business. If you want your tote bag business to really take off, here are some insider strategies. First, launch new collections for different seasons or holidays. This keeps your shop exciting and customers coming back to see what's new. Next, don't just post pictures of your bags on social media. Share the stories behind them. When people know the inspiration or the craft that goes into each bag, they're often willing to pay more. 
And here's a secret weapon. Team up with others. Find social media influencers or local shops who can help you get the word out about your bags. When you join forces, you can reach more people, and even your bags can become more popular. Remember, it's not just about making bags. It's about creating a brand people love and talk about. Use these tips to grow your business faster than you thought possible. Let's spark a conversation that gets everyone thinking. Imagine your brand as a single material. Which one would it be and why? Is it the classic durability of canvas, the eco-friendliness of hemp, the luxury of leather, or perhaps the versatility of nylon? Share your choice and the story behind it in the comments below. Let's weave together our experiences and insights. Got a chuckle in your stitch? If this video made your crafty side do a little jig, hit that like button like it's a hot glue gun trigger. Subscribe for more giggle-worthy guides, and share this with your pals to see who can craft the mightiest empire from yarn and dreams. Comments are the confetti of this crafting party, so sprinkle some down below.